Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you're a person that is currently using Linux out there, as you notice, I'm pretty much using Mint right here, then you probably have a software, or if not, you have already heard about a software called LibreOffice. This is pretty much a popular one. You probably see it like on Ubuntu or something related. And it pretty much has the alternatives that will be used for Microsoft Office. There are grateful systems and stuff like that, and they do work for you to do the stuff. But there are other programs out there, and one of the most favorite ones I like to use for Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, it is called FreeOffice. Now, FreeOffice is another alternative that can be very useful for Microsoft Office, and on this video, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to download and install it. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing to do is pretty much just open up a browser, you, depending what type of system you have, it might vary, but regardless, you're going to go to the search bar and on the search bar, you're pretty much just going to type freeoffice.com. Now, depending on your area, it might be in a different language. I'm here in US, but somehow I decided to pretend like it's in this one right here. I'm going to put English and just switch it over and now you're pretty much able to understand what it's saying. It tells you if you want to accept all cookies, like every other site out there. And this is pretty much showing you what it looks like. It says that they have for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And it says you can do the free download and free download. But honestly, I'm going to go to the top to show you that this system pretty much supports for Mac, Windows, or Linux. Now, on Mac, it tells you pretty much for 10.12 or later version. It says on Windows, it supports Windows 7, 8, 10, 11. It says it also supports for servers from 2008 R2 and up. That's actually pretty good for servers. And then we have Linux. And this kind of varies when you click it because there is the RPM version and there's the dead base system. And then there's the TGZ package systems. And it all depends what type of Linux systems that you have. If I'm correctly, mine is a Mint. That's kind of like similar like Ubuntu. So I use the Debian based structure. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the dev base system and let it download. Depending on the system, you already have it downloaded, then you'll click the location where it's saved. Um, if not, you can go to your downloads and click it. Regardless, it's there. I just downloaded, so it's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and press open the file. Once you're pretty much downloading, I don't think I really need the browser anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and just exit out and give it a few seconds for it to come up. And pretty much already came up for it. So right here, it's saying that the SoftMaker Free Office 2021 is there. And SoftMaker is pretty much the company of Free Office. Tells you that it's a freaking powerful software that pretty much can read Microsoft Office for desktops. It can do Word for Word pretty much. It can do spreadsheets. That's pretty much Excel. And then you have presentation that's pretty much PowerPoint. So regardless, we're going to go ahead and press install the package. And depending on your system, you might be prompted. Go ahead and just type in your password. If you do not have to do it, then that's a good thing. You probably system might have it already rooted on your Linux, if you know what I'm talking about. You can just skip over this. Um, but regardless, it's going to start installing the program. Now, depending on this, I can go into details and it's going to download lots of packages. I was going to say by different, um, if I'm going to say, I think it's going to be like fonts or something like that. Oh, themes. That's what it is. Uh, honestly, it's just a theme, I guess, from whatever they call the programs. I'm just going to just close it. You can look at it if you want to. And it's going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this system run. And once it's done, I will switch over and then we will pretty much open up the applications. All right, guys, we're pretty much getting pretty close to this. I know it's going to be doing a few more things after this. Let's go ahead and let it finish up. All right, and that's creating and storing for users. It's cleaning up cache, cleaning up stuff. So I think the program is pretty much installed already. And it pretty much tells you that the same version is already installed. That means that the app, pretty much the file that we executed to show to install is telling that it's already installed for it. So I'm going to pretty much X this out. So now I want to go to, to start. And then when I'm going to go to office, you do see that we have three different ones that came into place. Free office on both of them. There's the text maker, the presentations, and the plan maker. I'm going to go ahead and open up the first one called the text maker. And if I'm correctly, this will be pretty much be the one that looks very similar, like the Microsoft Office from Word. 
So I'm going to go ahead. You can choose your ribbon layout that you want. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as is. Probably the most common one that you see today. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And then it tells you want to set up your user information. That's pretty much when you save a document and you click the properties on it. Right click on properties. They tell you who the creator of that document is created for it. Honestly, I just X this out. And here we have it. If we actually look at this, it is actually a very, very similar, like Microsoft Office. Very similar for it. And this is pretty much your alternative for using the Microsoft Office. Now we look at the difference from this program. I'm um, just going to go to Office. I'm going to go ahead and open up the one from Libre, Office Writer. And the designs are going to be totally different. They have similarity of features, what they can do, but it's not the same. Look at that. A lot different. So I'm going to go ahead and just X this out. And pretty much this one is done on seeing the Word. Now we're going to go to other ones. That was pretty much the one that looks like Word. We're going to go ahead and open up Office, and we're going to open up the presentation. This is the one that's going to look like pretty much like a PowerPoint. And look at these structures. It really looks like the Microsoft Office version. Very similar, and you, I honestly could probably could live with this like nothing with no problems at all. Does the same concepts. If I open up the one from Office and select the Library Office version, and I think theirs is called, I think it's Impress. Let me see to make sure I could be wrong. Yes, it is. And their structure is a totally different layout, and you can see that. This is why I kind of like to feel that old feeling of Microsoft Office because I used to use that all the time. I, for a long time, I used to use since Microsoft Office since I remember using, well, before even Office was even there. It was just regular, just Word. And then Office like 2000, 2003, and I continued up using every single version as it went up. And now it's pretty much Microsoft 365 now. And pretty much we can open up the next one, the Plane Maker. I can X this one out. And this is the one pretty much that's going to be used for Excel. Looks very like it. Very good system. I'm going to show the comparison again on using the one for pretty much for LibreOffice. And I think it's Cal, if I'm correctly, looks different. You see the difference. But regardless, you pretty much got the programs going on for it. For this is pretty much your alternative for Microsoft Office. And if this is pretty much just need those, then you can get to them and you can get stuff going. I know there are more advanced versions too, like the more pro versions, and you can look them out. But pretty much for using simple base and the free version, it's not a bad idea. I know the other one is pretty much like a standard one that you can pay like a subscription for like three bucks a month, or you can pay like a hundred, well, I think 30 bucks a year if I'm correctly. Or you can pay for like a lifetime for like a hundred bucks. Or you can honestly can choose like a... Uh, I think there's a professional version also that you can pay for one time for one twenty nine, if I'm correctly, like one twenty nine ninety five, and then again you can probably use the subscribed version that's monthly, and that one's forty nine ninety, if I'm correctly. Now it does vary on there. It's a good thing when you purchase like a let's say a lifetime that you pretty much you purchase it from one time purchase, but that does come to a point if they don't support that system anymore. So you know what it means. Um, so consideration later on, it's might not too bad to consider about subscribing to stay with the most updated version for the soft maker for it. But regardless, we got the system going and I'll probably make another video to show you how to uninstall this if this was having problems on your Linux system. But regardless, you should be good using this new system. Thanks everyone. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.